Hello, my friends. I wanted to come on today and talk to you about fear. Fear is something that affects every single one of us. Um, some points in our lives, it can become completely paralyzing, keeping us stuck in jobs that no longer serve us, maybe in relationships that aren't bringing out our highest and best. Um, maybe it's keeping you from living your dream life. So one of the best things that we can do is begin to recognize these fears in ourselves, understand how they hold us back, and break free of them. And I'm going to share a few tips with you today on, in order to do that, and hopefully some inspiration, along with some wise words from um, some really brilliant women who have broken through their fears, like Marianne Williamson, who says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in every one of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. That is one of my favorite quotes, and it's so true. I want you to just close your eyes for a moment and imagine that your deepest fear is ego-driven. Your deepest fear isn't coming from your heart. It's coming from your mind. You have an intelligence in your heart that knows your value, that knows your worth, that knows that your work here in the world is important, that your service to others is something you should absolutely pursue 100% with all of your passion and with all of your being. And my invitation to you, my challenge to you, is to journey deeper into this light without any promise or guarantee of safety or success. Just know that you're here to live fully in the moment, to share your gifts with the world, and to be present in everything without an attachment to the extrinsic value that you may be offered, but to the intrinsic reward and fulfillment that comes when you're following your heart. So let's chat for a moment about a couple of the types of fear and what their effects are. Maybe you have a fear of loss. Maybe you have a fear of the process, the journey itself. Maybe you have fear of the outcome. What's holding you back? Observe yourself and see how you push away these unpleasant thoughts. See how you delay important decisions or procrastinate around obligations, avoiding hard tasks. Notice how you take comfort in distractions. And listen to the dialogue within you. I'm too overwhelmed. I don't have time for that. I'm not good enough. The world doesn't really need another fill in the blank. How does your fear stop you? And if you truly listen to your heart, 
not your mind, not that dialogue. What does it tell you? Can you observe the fear for what it is? Just the ego's way of chattering about how you're not good enough or how you are unworthy of living the life you truly desire? Can you laugh at that? Can you just almost dismiss it like it doesn't even matter that you're going to follow your heart, you're going to do it anyway, that that little voice that's trying to keep you small no longer has power over you. Observe it and lovingly tell it, it has no power here. And I'll close with this beautiful quote from Oriah Mountain Dreamer. What if the task is simply to unfold, to become who you already are in your essential nature, gentle, compassionate, and capable of living fully and passionately present? How would this affect how you feel when you wake up in the morning? Thank you for tuning in, and I am sending you all of my love and wishes that you conquer your fears, that you break through these barriers, and that you live the life that you dream of. Namaste.